Welcome, Sagittarius, to your monthly love reading. This will be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please keep in mind, energy is interchangeable, so it can go vice versa. Also, uh, this reading won't resonate with everyone, so take whatever fits and leave the rest, okay? Last notification. All right. We have fear with the cats. So someone's definitely fearing uh, and has been fearing making a choice in the situation. Uh, possibly that they're not good enough here or um, there's just a lot of doubts within themselves if they can do what they really want to do. We have believe in the impossible, step out of your comfort zone. Yeah, it's going to take a lot of courage for this person to uh, take a take a leap of faith and take a risk in this situation. So it looks like something, uh, a decision this person has wanted to make for a long time, it looks like. Um, they've. It's really taken them the courage to start really uh, seeing how they're going to do this here. We have, I'm starting to understand our connection with I love you. Yeah, this person feels like uh, this is a connection like no other. And seeing that they can't lose out just because of their own fears and doubts here. Overall energy, we have the Eight of Pentacles. This is about being dedicated towards a goal here. Uh, putting blood, sweat, and tears into it. And um, making sure every detail... And everything goes according to plan. So someone definitely has a goal in mind here. So let's see what you're doing right now, Sag. In regards to your person. We have the Eight of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the Strength card. So it's been really hard for you to walk away from this connection, I see. Uh, you've, you, it's, you're getting to the point where you want to, okay. You really want to walk away. It's like no longer serving you. You feel like it's not what it was, uh, anymore. Uh, but you're having a tough time really staying in it. Uh, so you're kind of like in limbo here. You've walked away in a sense of, you know, you're trying, you're now thinking of the idea of just moving on. Right. But at the same time, it's been a really tough cycle and you feel like you put everything into it. You've really stuck into this uh, as much as you could, as much as possible. So we have the Moon, King of Cups, and the Four of Cups. This person is feeling a bit devastated right now. They're disappointed in their own actions as well, possibly rejecting you here and feeling rejected in the current moment because they're feeling you walking away um, for whatever has gone on the last time that you have spoken to this person. The moon card, they have uncertainty, a lot of doubts and fears on where to go next, how to make this right, if you will give them a chance here. I just heard my heart's too involved at this point to just let go. So this person even feels, you know, they're in the same energy you are as well. You know, they really feel like they can't just let you go. Tell me with the moon card. Queen of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, will you take this opportunity again with them? Will you give them a second chance? They're just not quite sure here with the moon card. Tell me the Four of Cups. Three of Cups. Two of Wands, yeah. They're wishing things can go back to the way that they were between you two. This happy place of where everything, the, it seems like every time they talk to you, they felt really good, you know, about them their self, themselves in general, as well as the connection, right? But they, <clears throat> they knew that you weren't getting what you wanted out of it. And they wish that they would have paid more attention to what your needs were. Okay, so let's see what happened in the past here. <clears throat> we have the Ace of Cups, Queen of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. So I see from both sides here, you really invested in this person. You did, you really did do everything you could. You put all your effort and hard work into it. Um, 
you know, trying to see if this could be nurtured to grow into something uh, of more of a committed situation. But with the Queen of Cups here, it's like you were so devoted and this person knew you were devoted to them. And they wish that they would have shown you that they were investing in you. They felt like they were. Uh, this is reminding me a little bit of the Aries situation, but the other side. So if you have Aries in your chart or are dealing with an Aries, you know, be sure to check it out. But uh, in the past, this person didn't show you the effort. They didn't show you that they were investing in you. They didn't show that they even cared in some sense, even about this connection at all and inside they kept it to themselves they did really want uh this they they felt like they were invested and they did, did really want this to go somewhere unfortunately their own fears and doubts really stopped them from moving forward i just heard i i was afraid of love in general so this person might have a fear of love and connections and their own baggage of being rejected, you know, in a sense towards the end. So if they get into situations with other people or relationships in their life, such as friends and family as well, you know, they, they do invest, but they don't show them that, right? They take more than they give because they want to see how it pans out. They want to see if this person's really going to leave them. And then it always proves them right. So in a sense, they fear, the actual love uh, connection, they feel like by hiding it, it actually subdues their love for that person, but it doesn't, you know, it's just the way that they treated uh, situations in their life in regards to relationship. So let's see what the challenge was here. Justice hanged man and the devil card. So again, someone giving into their own vices. This is a situation where this person really has their own uh, issues that they didn't deal with and they put it as a wedge in between the situation. They know that they needed to let this go, okay? Hanged man, that needed to be surrendered and, you know, start fresh and treating things like an equal give and take, treating you as well as uh, you should be, and listening to you, being fair and honest uh, with you with their feelings and their fears and doubts uh, for this to flourish. And they just didn't, right? They let their emotional baggage kind of take control in the situation. Tell me about the devil card. Devil or emperor, yeah. So part of the problem here is you have experienced with this person, uh, there are limits to control you, right? Uh, to control, and if they didn't control you, definitely the situation or the relationship, uh, they were always imposing what they wanted and how this was going to flow. This is definitely choking the energy of this connection. This is always making sure that things don't get too emotional for their liking, right? Or if it, things get too stressful for their liking, then they back off. And you didn't know this. You didn't really realize that this these wounds ran so deep with this person. That's that's why they did this. Why that's why they put so much pressure on you uh to stay in this, but at the same time not giving you anything to work with. Tell me about the Hank fan. Page of Cups Fool. Yeah, they just needed to take a risk and uh, let their heart roam free here to be able to love you freely and deeply as they wanted to, as well as you being able to receive it, right? They just didn't do that in this situation. And it was very foolish of them. Uh, fool Page of Cups means their emotional maturity level was, uh, it felt flat, right? They just didn't have enough in their arsenal to really take care of this connection as well as take care of your emotional needs. Uh, they dealt with a lot of things karmically in their life with the Justice card that brought in a lot of emotional baggage to the situation. But you both were brought into each other's past for a reason. So this could be showing up as like a soulmate situation here. Because I'm seeing a lesson the universe is trying to teach this person. Six of Wands, Hierophant Magician, Queen of Swords. The action they take towards you 
instead of this person being in a controlling sense with the devil emperor and uh, trying to really make this whole situationship go the way that they want to <clears throat> or they feel comfortable, I'm sorry. Uh, instead of that now, <clears throat> excuse me, someone needs to speak. I have a frog in my throat. Magician Hierophant. So this is about making sure that they show you that they want commitment, that they want to do things now the proper way, the way things should have been done, which is coming, you know, give, doing 50-50, meeting you in the middle and giving as much to you as you are, were giving to them. Uh, Six of Wands is they want to be successful in this, but they know that you are at this point of you're cutting them out, right? You're just done with dealing at, with anything that is not the truth, that is not honest, that uh, is not fair for you. I'm picking up a lot on fairness here that you felt like things just were never, never went in your favor and wasn't fair to you at all. Tell me the Queen of Swords. Nine of Cups, yeah. Now I want. So they see that you're in this energy. You're you're in this energy of now I want what's owed to me. I want what's fair to me. I want somebody that's going to give me as much as I give to them. Uh, that somebody is going to value me, especially uh, Nine of Cups, Queen of Swords. Some of the Six of Wands. How are they going to do this here? Nine of Swords, Five of Swords, they want to overcome their fear. <clears throat> they real, they think that they can do this, right? They're feeling positive uh, that they can overcome this fear of not always getting what they want here, okay? The, the fact that they have to control and play these mind games or, you know, impose basically a facade to you of who they truly are in order to gain uh, a long-term situation with you, it's just not the way to go about it. So they realize this now with the Six of Wands. Let's see here the Pure Font and the Magician. The Star, Eight of Wands, Two of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. They realize, so they're going to come towards you uh, here in the near future. You're going to get some communication. This is a conversation, okay, about, like, it's going to be like a phone call. <clears throat> Could be text message, but I see a phone call coming. This is about taking little bits, uh, taking a little bit by little bit, you know, little steps at a time uh, to gain towards a greater goal of gaining security with you, getting you to see that they, <clears throat> excuse me again, uh, they truly love you, okay, that they, they're trying to prove it to you by sticking in it. So this means that they will constantly call you uh, out of the blue and not leave for periods of time. Like they're going to try to show stability more and that you can rely on them. And that so that what they're saying to you is really the truth. Uh, this is their method and that they're going to take because they feel like that this is the only way uh, to kind of get you to talk to them again okay so they realize they might have be, to be persistent here they might have to keep trying to push at it uh, because you may not even respond to them and they're okay with that they realize they're gaining the courage they, they know they have enough and what it takes to um really see this through because they don't want to lose you by any means i mean this person does truly uh care for you and love you but uh, Sagittarius, so uh, we are going to see where this is headed. We're going to see exactly the action this person takes in the outcome, as well as go over some more details in the situation. So if this reading is resonating with you, you're more than welcome to join me over there. If not, if this is your last stop, I thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next time.